Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of We Heart Therapy for another part of our series, Your Guide to Therapy. With me today, I have special guest Mark Brana, who specializes in treating trauma. Mark, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank We're you gonna, for having me. You're welcome. We're going to talk about treating trauma with the specific method called EMDR, which happens to be Mark's specialty. Now, Mark, can you help our viewers understand a little bit about what EMDR is exactly? Okay, so EMDR stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. And that is a mouthful, so that's why they call it EMDR. They use the acronym. Uh, so how it works is typically you'll have a therapist and the client sitting in the room, and the goal is to create bilateral stimulation in the brain. And really all that means is getting the different areas of the brain working so the information can process. Trauma, typically the belief is that it's information that's stuck in parts of the brain where it doesn't belong. And then the goal is to process it and put it where it belongs so then the memories aren't as intense. It's almost like a file cabinet where if you open the cabinet, there's a lot of different files in there. And if the information's in there, the drawer closes. Where trauma, it's like you open the drawer, put all the files on top, close the drawer. And so every time you open those, the files are everywhere. And so this is kind of putting the files away in so that when the memories are recalled, they're not as intense. Um, typically, the sessions involve very little talking among front with the therapist and the client other than the therapist asking what do they notice, the client reporting, and you continue processing. So what is, so how does uh, the therapist help the client achieve bilateral stimulation in the session? Okay, so bilateral stimulation normally with traditional EMDR is achieved where the therapist and the client sit in pretty close proximity and the therapist is usually moving their arm left to right, having the client follow um, left to right with their eyes and then stopping periodically breathing and then just asking what, what is noticed. We're looking for what's going on in the body, some emotions experienced, some cognitions, and then working to reprocess them into more healthy and adaptive um, cognitions and feelings. So how is EMDR sort of developed? It seems like when a person experiences trauma, such as PTSD mm -hmm. or maybe a rape or a car accident or um, various things that happen to you in life could cause mm -hmm. trauma, but it seems that the body stores that yes. as like a, a muscle memory or a neurological memory, mm -hmm. and that sort of becomes trapped in our body. Mm -hmm. And so with EMDR, you, you sort of distill the memory from that physical memory mm -hmm. and sort of separate them mm -hmm. and then in a way neutralize that experience so that it doesn't hold this much power. That, that is correct. And then, you know, the memory and everything associated with the memory, smells, um, you know, feelings and all those things, the physical, uh, it, it's all connected. And then, yeah, once it's separated out and de desensitized, then when the memory, like the picture comes up or a feeling comes up from that, it's not, the intensity is much lower and more manageable for the client. So how does the session start? Do you usually say, you know, let's talk about a specific memory that's traumatic mm -hmm. and then we're going to go into this? Or how does it start? Typically, you start with a history taking, um, identifying targets uh, of trauma. And so, yeah, you may target a specific thing in one session and you start processing it. And normally, as the mind goes, you'll find that it's connected to many other things, which it's part of the reason I like this therapy because you may process multiple traumas without ever really re-traumatizing or talking about every single trauma the person's ever experienced. You know, if there's a related feeling towards it, you may just process it out and they may never even tell me what the trauma was because we've processed it out. And so the session will go and as we're going through, we're looking to instill positive cognitions. We're scanning the body for tension and working on releasing the tension as we go through. And, you know, just really w decreasing the intensity of any negative cognitions. Because usually with the trauma, 
there is a negative cognition that's associated with it. Like a lot of times it's the feeling of being out of control or feeling helpless. And so a lot of times understanding that there was, you did everything you can do changes that cognition. So it seems like EMDR might be more helpful for folks who are dealing with a trauma mm -hmm. or PTSD in that traditional talk therapy could almost re-traumatize somebody because they're asking them to re relive that experience and talk about it. Whereas with EMDR, you don't even have to talk about it. You come into session and you do the, the eye stimulation and you reprocess and neutralize that memory without ever having to relive it. Yes, and the when it comes to doing that, what you find is it mo therapy typically will move a lot quicker than traditional talk therapy. I mean, depending on the complexity of the traumas and the memories and all those things, you know, it will, tr where it may take three, six months, a year, EMDR, you're looking sometimes few weeks a couple months you know it's very fast because you're processing so much at a time so how would a client know if EMDR would be the right type of therapy for them the best way is to just talk with an EMDR trained therapist or if you're already seeing a therapist just talking to the therapist and exploring the option I when I'm working with clients before we even introduce the idea of EMDR I give them places that they can go and look up and educate themselves on how the process works because I want them to make the informed decision to do it. Because as with any therapy, the engagement is very important. And if they're engaged and they want to do this, we can do it and then we can, it, it works. And what kind of trauma does EMDR treat? I know some folks may not have gone through war and they may be sitting here thinking, well, I, I didn't go to war and I wasn't in a major accident, but I, you know, have some deep traumas maybe from my past or, I mean, I've heard of folks even being traumatized through the childbirth process. And so what kind of trauma would be uh, treated through EMDR? Really, I've seen it work with about anything the person has experienced that they've developed a trauma to. It doesn't it doesn't have to be war or this or like a car accident or something. Yeah, childhood events that most of the time we wouldn't even realize were traumatic are still following us. And so we can use it to really process those, uh, th those memories. And what I found is what I would typically assume the trauma is with the client it may just be an event on top of things that happened much earlier that wouldn't necessarily normally seem traumatic. You know, um, playing with you know playing with your friends and then being tack you know playing football and being tackled and hogpiled by your friends and then feeling as if if you can't breathe and trying to get out from under the pile can be just as traumatizing as going to war for some people, especially in early childhood and it sticks with you and you don't realize it. And so any trauma that you've experienced or may have experienced, it's beneficial to. Now is EMDR, is it regulated so that only therapists can practice it? Whereas, you know, something like coaching or the EFT matrix, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a licensed therapist or even a practicing therapist at all. But it's, is EMDR? EMDR is uh, managed under the the EMDR International Association, um, which I'm a member of. And in order, in order to be certified to do, you have to go through trainings. And the first part of the training is three days long and it's 21 hours total, 24 hours. Um, and so what, you, what you're looking at is you're focusing on just certain aspects and then you have to practice for a period of time and then you can do the second training that's also 24 hours long you know three days of intense training and then you have to go through yet another practicing process before you even become certified uh, and so it's very well controlled it's very well regulated and it's been well researched as effective right so if somebody is interested in getting an emdr treatment how can they find an emdr therapist in their area 
One of the easiest ways is to go on the website for the EMDR International Association and you can look up a therapist. I'm on that website and many of the therapists that I know that are trained in EMDR are on that website. You can also look on Psychology Today. Uh, that That's one of the categories that you can look up as well as Good Therapy. You can find me on both Psychology Today and Good Therapy. You can also Google. call. Yeah, Google. Google Google works. Most therapists will know somebody that's been trained, and so you can call and get a referral. Or they could Google EMDR therapist mm -hmm. in, you know, whatever zip code they're you in. You can find anything on Google. Absolutely. And if folks want to find you? You can, like I said, you can find me on Psychology Today, goodtherapy.org. You can also find me on the EMDR's website. You can call me directly at 702-475-1649. I'm working on building up a website too. Hopefully that'll be done in time. And you know, it's it's a very valuable therapy. I, I really enjoy using it. And of course, any resource or treatment that's available to help folks conquer anything that they're going through that's really holding them back or interfering with their normal day-to-day -day life is very valuable, of course. So we want to thank you again, Mark, so much for Thanks being for here. Thanks for having me. He's based here in Las Vegas, so if you are in the Las Vegas area and you are an individual suffering with trauma that you'd like to have treated, please look up Mark, or you can Google an EMDR therapist in your zip code. Or if you're anywhere else in the United States, or perhaps outside, go to EMDR's website, or again, Google EMDR therapist in your area. Once again, thank you so much for joining us for another exciting episode. Stay tuned, more episodes are coming soon.